with Muslims. Um, and of course, you know, that situation is not improving to practice religion, but... A religious education in China, by the very nature of the state, is a, a public affair. Um, and so you cannot have uh, religious training in China without the sanction of the government. They took a very famous statement from the sayings of the Prophet Muhammad, um, who said that love of one's country, hub al watan, min al iman, it's part of the faith. So um, this was sort of translated and then transformed into the statement love, country, love of country, love of religion. The idea of loving the state, see that, that's possible in a Muslim society, in a, in a Muslim majority country, there's no conflict between loving what should be a Muslim government and a Muslim state, a Muslim polity, and loving one's religion because the two are synonymous or at least very closely interrelated. The Chinese government puts its state interests before the interests of religious believers. So insofar as China controls religion, it subordinates religion to the interests political and also economic and cultural of, uh, of the state.